But I'm glad I saw that video because, man, getting this show started today, oh, my God. Shall I digress for a moment or two? Yeah, well, Tell everyone sure. what the hell's going on? Yeah, well, uh, yesterday I was in a tent right now. We went camping, and uh, we went to a place called Cape Disappointment, which uh, is where, like, everybody died. You know, they tried to get their ships in, and they crashed and burned on the rocks. It's mm -hmm. uh southern tip of Washington State, just over the bridge in Astoria from Oregon. But, you know, we had a good time camping and everything like that. And, uh, you know, everything that goes into camping, you got to cook, build a fire, you know, that kind of thing. And then we got back in the car, and we had to uh, drive back to Cannon Beach here today. And, uh, you know, I sat down, and because we were camping, my plan was to watch SmackDown yesterday in the tent while the children were sleeping with my AirPods or my earbuds or whatever. Well, uh, we had no service whatsoever. And so we drove back today. And at about 3.30 Pacific, I sat down to watch SmackDown. And I watched all of SmackDown. And when I was done watching SmackDown, oh SummerSlam God. began. And so I'd already watched two hours of WWE. And uh, SummerSlam, I figured, would be, you know, maybe a three-and-a-half-hour show or whatever. And, uh, you know, I, I was enjoying things. Everything was going along just fine. And then, you know, it was time for that main event. And it was uh, after the three-hour mark by quite a while. And then there was a bunch of video packages, and there was product placement. And finally, they begin the entrances, and, you know, it's worth three and a half hours in the show, and old Roman Reigns took over five full minutes to do his ring entrance. And then we did, in fact, get your Roman Reigns main event. Now, Roman Reigns has gone 35 minutes or so with Sami Zayn in Montreal. He went, I don't even know how long it was, at WrestleMania. You know, they went another 30 minutes or so for the Usos versus uh, Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa. And, you know, they've all worked out. You know, they're kind of they're a little bit slow in the beginning, but then, you know, things get going, and it turns into a, you know, as the kids like to say, cinema. And I'm watching this match, and uh, I ain't seeing no cinema. And I'm watching, and I'm waiting, and I'm watching and waiting, and nobody believes that Jey Uso has any chance whatsoever of winning. They work the match like they work the match with everybody else. And it just goes on and on and on. It's 25 minutes before Solo Sokoa decides he's going to do a run-in. We have another seven minutes or so before a mystery man pulls Jey Uso out of the ring. This person finally unmasks. It's Jimmy Uso, who then stands there looking at his brother for a full minute. And then finally, Jey is thrown into the ring. He is speared through a table and he is pinned. This was excruciatingly long. I am a big fan of the Bloodline storyline. The fans have been big fans of the Bloodline storyline. It's the hottest thing in the company. But you know what? Sometimes it is a swing and a miss. And this main event was a swing and a miss. It went way too long. They worked this like they shouldn't have. You know, beating on Jey Uso for 20 straight minutes when the fans didn't believe the guy could win. And, man, I just was dying when this was over. I was just fucking dying. And now, by the way, i got to do this show. And then i got to watch two hours of Collision. Ah. And then I have to do a show with Dave. So let's not make this as long as SummerSlam, Vinny. And let's go through here Jesus Christ. from the beginning. We're now right with the main event. And uh, by my count, in the real world, in real time... 59 minutes passed between the end of the uh, between EO Sky cashing in and uh, the finish of the main event. Now, that 59 minutes includes all the entrances, it includes the women leaving the ring and all the entrances and stuff, but it gives, that tells you just how long this freaking main event spectacle as a spectacle was. The actual match probably went about 40 minutes, but 35 minutes, exactly. Okay. 
Okay, so there was just a long ass time, and Jay comes out. Crowd loves Jay. There is a shot of Jay on the top rope doing this with the crowd, the crowd doing it back to him. That is unbelievable. And uh, as, as noted, it's going to be in a Jay's Hall of Fame video someday. Um, and then they started doing their match, and it was a 15 minute match stretched out over 35 minutes. And I, I, I will once again give credit to somebody else on Twitter. Trevor Dames pointed out every WWE main event, 80% of it is smoldering stares. They're just looking at each other and <laughs> looking at each other. And they'll do a move and they'll look at each other and look at each other. And they'll do a move and they'll look at each other and look at each other. And it's, it's Paul Heyman screaming, have you no mercy? He loves you. But they're not actually doing anything they'd be merciful about. Uh, pacing wise, it'd be like watching Hogan Andre at Mania 3 three times in a row. Just takes that long to get there. Obviously, the execution's a, a fuck ton better, but uh, it's, it's that much, nothing going on. Uh, by the time Solo Sokoa zooms out of nowhere to interfere in the crowd, this show is legitimately four plus hours old. We were all very tired. The fans are tired. I should point out, we, we were, you know, 30 minutes into this at this point, and uh, it was not 30 hot minutes. It was maybe five hot minutes and 25 low mumble minutes. And they're slowly dragging Jay back to the ring. He's clearly helping them drag him. Finally, they give up on that. They just carry him out there. Uh, they try to double team him, but Jay pulls Solo in the way of the spear and uh, hits a spear on Roman for two. He's destroying both dudes with a chair for a while. And there's a, they're on the floor. Solo, <laughs> Jay ca calls the spot. He like lifts the chair. You hear him shout, now! And Solo kicks him in the face. And then Solo starts just screaming curse words at the top of his lungs. I couldn't figure out why. Apparently, he's mad that Roman had speared him and the double team gone wrong, but uh, they did not outright fight or anything. Jay spears Roman through the barricade. Solo tries to attack Jay, but Jay smashes him through the table. And uh, Jay goes to splash in the ring, tries to win. He is pulled outside by a masked man. It's his twin brother, Jimmy Uso. Crowd is outraged. And it also begs the question, if you're going to interfere in a championship match, why would you wait an hour to do it? Why not interfere in the first five minutes? Roman's confused by this, but he recovers. He spears Jay through a table. He wins. The blah, 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 just won't die. So the uh, here's the problem with this match. I kind of went over a little bit earlier, but when they did Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns, I would guess that the majority of fans, maybe not all of them, but the majority, thought that Cody was going to win. When they did Sami Zayn and Roman Reigns in Montreal, I think there were a fair number of fans that thought that Sami Zayn was going to win. When they did Roman Reigns and Solo versus the Usos, I think most fans, maybe not all, figured that they were going to see the Usos win and maybe finally get to see Jay pin Roman Reigns. So in every single one of those matches... You had an engaged crowd that thought that they were going to see something historic. And when you have that, you can work a match a certain way. You can take your time. You can start building up to the big stuff at the end and whip them into a frenzy. This match here, did anybody, did any human being living think that Jey Uso was going to beat Roman Reigns? Nobody did. Not one single person. So you can't do the match you did with Sami Zayn. You can't do the match you did with Cody Rhodes. You can't do the match you did with the Usos against Roman and Solo. You can't do that because nobody thinks the challenger is going to win. And for 20 fucking minutes, Roman's beating this guy's ass. And Michael Cole, the announcer, is like, man, Jay's got to do something. He's just been dominated the entire time. Jay's getting killed here by Roman Reigns. I'm like, no shit, dude. He's getting fucking killed by this guy that's going to beat him in the end. Like, Jay needed to come out, and it just needed to be boom, boom, boom from the opening bell. Just this guy going crazy and just running this guy ragged. No downtime. It had to be a totally different kind of match. And instead, they did the same slow, plodding 35 minutes of Roman beating on him for 75% of the match. The crowd's dead. I mean, this was just, it didn't work at all. And then, you know, they do this stuff at the end. And, you know, once Solo showed up, it's like, okay, so Solo's going to show up and it's going to make you think that Jay has a better chance of winning? <laughs> no, you think he has a worse chance of winning. 
And then, you know, he finally takes out, you know, Jimmy or whatever. And then the guy pulls him out. It was just like, yeah, they told a story. You know, maybe people are really into it. We'll find out on SmackDown. But, I mean, it's just, it was too goddamn fucking long. And it just went on and on and on. Not one fan for one second believed that Jey Uso was going to beat Roman Reigns. Not for one second. Even in the Finn Balor-Seth Rollins match, Finn had that big comeback and he had that double foot stomp, and you could see the entire oh, yeah. building on their feet thinking there was going to be a title change. Yep. That didn't happen a single time in this match. They did not work it in any way to make you believe that Jey Uso was going to win, and you didn't think he was going to win going in, and it was 35 minutes. Brutal. Now, at, at the end of a four plus hour show. Yeah, it was it was way, way too long on a show that was way, way too long. And it's too bad, too, because I was loving this show, really. But, you know, that, uh, you know, the first three quarters of the women's match, the semi main, yeah. and then the first, I don't know, 25, 30 minutes of the main event. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, all the time between the semi main event and the main event again. It was like, it killed me, dude. It, it did not leave me when the show was over thinking, my God, what a great show I saw. It was like, I can't believe I made it through that show. Like, I can't believe I made it. It was like, it was like fucking running a marathon. So anyway. So I, I do want to say before we go, the, the, the ending angle could be the end of, statistically at least, the preeminent team in the history of this entire promotion. And I say that it, dead serious. This, these guys have been a team. Their first match as a team per, per cage match, December of 2008, mm -hmm. for NWA prime time. Their first WWE match, this isn't even counting FCW, uh, June 2010 against the Hart Dynasty. That's how long they've been, along, or been around. I, I can't find the list now. I found a list that had them as the most tag team matches in the company history. I, I'm sure that's true. As far as I can tell, the only teams that have been champions for longer were the new day and demolition both of which had three guys instead of two so I, 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 this is a big deal man the usos are a big part of the history of this promotion and for the time being at least they are no more well i'm sure someday they're going to get back together again i suspect they'll they'll, they'll mend their fences and get the hall of fame induction but, uh, but in the meantime we got jimmy versus jay we're going to build to Roman versus Solo, and we got to drag it out till we can do that Cody Rhodes rematch and title win at WrestleMania coming up this year, which I'm pretty sure is, uh, I think, now the obvious direction after what happened with Brock. Yeah. But we got a long time to get there, so I hope it, uh, I hope it works out better than this one. And you know what? This was, this was a miss, but they've been mostly hits. So, you know, yeah. one, one miss is not the end of the world. It's not like this thing is all of a sudden going to collapse. But uh, I hope that whatever is coming next, I hope is uh, is better than this one. Because this, this, to me, was a lesson you should learn from. This Roman Reigns 35-minute match with Jey Uso. But. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button. And you'll never miss a video again.